Hello, everybody. Today we have Mr. Alman Wilson with us. He was originally a commercial pilot from the Philippines and India and started off as a hobbyist in photography. With experiment and self-learning, he started freelancing in the field and now is working for one of the biggest camera companies in the world, Nikon, as a manager for the technical department. Thank you for coming to our college. Thank you for having me. Uh, just to start off, I would like to know how do you suggest us as beginners to start off with photography? Mm, nice question. Uh, so today, in when I go to schools, colleges, and conduct these workshops, and I see a lot of students there. So the first and foremost question which they ask me is, so how to earn money in photography? Which makes me sad because when it comes to photography, it is a creative field. It's a visual medium where one needs to understand what he's trying to showcase to the world. And if you run after the money, then you will not understand what creativity is all about. I'm not saying money is not important. Yes, it is important to survive your, in this world. But till the time you don't understand the camera, till the time you don't understand the photography, you will not be able to gain anything out of it. So as students, when you're beginning, you should concentrate about learning the storytelling part of it, that's the creative part, as well as the technical part of it, which is knowing the camera inside out, knowing the camera like the back of your hand. And when you are able to merge these two things together, that's where you can start becoming professional. That's where you can start becoming more commercial and start gaining a fame in the market and start earning money. So how do you suggest that we put our foot in the market? Okay, so again, coming to the same point, like putting yourself in the market, right now you have a great medium of SNS platforms where you have Facebook, where you have Instagram, um, and many other ways you can showcase your work. And uh, today, the good part is all across the globe, anybody can see your work, get you to do something or the other for them, and you can earn money out of it. But again, before you do all those things, you should know your photography, you should know your camera like the back of your hand, so that you're able to gain the best out of that situation, that particular subject in the best possible manner. What is the market of photography right now in the present and how do you see it evolve in the future? Oh, uh, as of now, photography is evolving with each and every passing moment, I would say. And uh, there's a lot of transition which is happening in the market, whether it comes to uh, the different tips and techniques of photography, as well as even the equipment. There was a time when we used to be in SMLs, then came a time when we were in DSLRs, and now you have the mirrorless market. So the market is changing, and with time, you also need to change yourself. The market is evolving so much that it has a lot of prospects for you, which will help you to get a lot of uh, fame, and money in the market, but it's just that you need to tap into the right uh, uh, people and the right uh, companies in order to achieve that. Um, so you are working for Nikon, so can you give us a little bit about uh, what is Nikon offering in terms of the photography and videography aspect? Okay, so Nikon has a vast lineup. We have uh, cameras, we have multiple types of cameras, we've got bridge cameras, we've got DSLR, then we've added a new segment of cameras, which is the mirrorless cameras. And when you talk about optics, optics, we've been there for a long, long time. Basically, if I go a little bit back in history, 1917 was the time when Nikon actually formed it. And the first camera which came out was in 1959. So we've been working on optics, other manufacturers have used Nikon uh, optics as well. And uh, uh, there is a vast lineup of lenses available. You've got wide angle lenses, you've got zoom lenses, you've got telephoto lenses, macro lenses, special purpose lenses, perspective control lenses for architectural photography. Then uh, the cameras, you've got a very big array of uh, cameras to choose from, from a beginner camera to an advanced camera to a, a professional camera. So there is a lot of options available for all the customers out there. So they can choose a particular budget and then have uh, multiple options to uh, choose which camera would give them the best output. So Nikon has uh, both FX and DX series, which is the full frame as well as the APS sensor series. And uh, the pricing also is very, very consistent and it's good. So you have multiple options to choose from.
That is amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, we had a lot of fun uh, attending your lecture. I hope you had a good experience. Definitely, definitely. How was your experience uh, coming to Veda and uh, giving lecture to our students? Okay, so with students, I love talking and uh, exploring new horizons because since each and every student is a budding photographer, he's trying to learn something or the other. So the questions which come across are amazing. The facts which they know, I I don't know whether I knew those facts at that point of time when I was starting off or not. So it's really amazing to interact with all the students over here. They were very nice. They were all uh, very patient in listening and uh, they wanted to have uh, new learnings about photography. They were open to all the suggestions, to all the um, things I could tell them and share with them. So it was a great experience being over here with each one of you and I hope to come back sooner again and conduct more such sessions and yes specifically on wildlife because I'm more into wildlife. So thank you for having me. We would love to have you here again sir. Thank, thank you. you so much.